I just wanted to take a second. Um, I'm sure, like everybody uh, yesterday, really caught me off guard with the tragic news of Kobe Bryant and his daughter and the other uh, people in the helicopter um, crashing and uh, losing their lives. And uh, I was a little surprised by how hard it hit me. Um, it's such a tragic thing. Um, and I know I'm not a sports pundit, I'm a musician. Uh, this channel is, has nothing to do with sports. I sing and play music for a living, and so people probably don't even care what I have to say about Kobe, but man, it's really just made me reflect. And um, growing up, I loved basketball, I played basketball, I played for my middle school and my high school team. And uh, I was a massive Michael Jordan fan. I'm old enough that I got to experience Jordan dominate and win all those championships. And uh, but then this guy, Kobe, came along who's so talented and uh, it's my opinion to this day, his game most resembled Jordan's uh, more than anybody. And I loved watching him. I became a massive fan of his. I would stay up late to watch his West Coast games. Loved watching him win championships. And I remember a few years ago when he was playing his last game ever as he retired, uh, my oldest son, Luke, he was you know, younger, obviously. And uh, I let him stay up way past his bedtime because I wanted him to uh, experience history. I wanted him to watch one of the greatest to ever play the game, play his last one. And that night, Kobe dropped 60 points in his last game. It was amazing. It was so much fun. Um, man, just the news of him losing his life and his daughter losing her life and the others, really just so tra tragic and so devastating. And I love uh, one of Kobe's quotes uh, from the, his last game as a Laker after Words, he was interviewed and asked what he wanted to be remembered by. He said, I want to be remembered as a guy who was blessed with talent, but worked like he had none. And that just inspires me and it encourages me. I pray that it does the same to you, to take what God has given you and then to use it and to make the most of it. You know, I have this song called Moments that talks about how short and precious life is and to not let time slip by. And I just want to encourage all of us to make the most of every second because you don't know what the next moment holds, what tomorrow holds. Grab those around you, give them a hug, let them know you love them, how much you care for them. Life is short, it's precious, and it's sweet. And our heart and our prayers and our thoughts, they go out to the Bryant family and to the other families impacted by this terrible accident. We're praying that God gives them peace and comfort during this terrible time. And I just want to encourage all of you to make the most of, of every second that you're given in this life.